Hey everyone, because of the Moon review, uh, I got to thinking, Moon's kind of one of those movies that, you know, you see it sitting there when it comes out on DVD, and uh, if you don't know anything about it, you'll kind of pass it over, um, and I thought of the two perfect movies in my collection that are exactly that way. Um, you have The Fall and Proposition. Now, I own both of these on DVD and Blu-ray. That's how much I love these movies. Um, first off, The Fall. Now, you know, the cover seems pretty intriguing. This is actually a movie uh, some people would not watch, uh, you know, if they looked at the back cover. It's directed by Tarsum, and he's the guy that did The Cell, uh, that Jennifer Lopez movie. Which had its certain appeal, but otherwise was a real dud. Um, the Fall basically shows you what the director can do when without the sort of Hollywood interference kind of thing going on. Um, you know, on the front cover, they're like, David Fincher and Spike Jones present. They had, you know, nothing to do with it. Um, this is more pretty much tarsome. From what I hear, he took the money he made from the cell and just spent like seven years making this movie. Uh, the coolest part is actually the, the scenery, all the places he found that are real places, and there, there's some effects to a certain degree. But these places he found, I mean, are just gorgeous. And he, he you know, he scouted everything out for seven years, and he had the casting, and, and you, know, you sort of see people age in the movie, because they've been working on this movie for so long. Uh, just an awesome kind of movie. The only actor you would probably recognize is this guy here. You can't really see it. Um, he, I forget his name. Lee Pace. He played the pie maker in Pushing Daisies, another really underrated thing, show. Um, he's the only one you're really going to recognize. Uh, the true star is this little girl, Kintiko Ntaru. Just awesome. Uh, basic, really quick premise. Uh, Lee Pace is a stuntman, and basically the first scene in this movie is this stunt going horribly wrong black and white, uh, much like Antichrist, it has this black and white artsy opening, but this is way more effective, um, and, you know, he gets paralyzed, and he's in this hospital, and, uh, he's sort of laid up in bed, and there's a little girl there, and she, uh, had broken her arm, and she's in the hospital, and one day she comes in his room, and, you know, he basically says, he's like, you know what, I'll tell you a story, if you do me a favor, and she's like, what's the, f the favor, and he's like, um, I need you to go get me some pills, basically, he, he wants to kill himself, so he wants her to steal pills from the, uh, pharmacy, and bring them to him so he can kill himself, but he lives up to his promise, and, and he tells her this story, and the story, as, as he's telling it, is told through the, sort of the lens of her imagination, so everything's a little tweaked, um, he says, he says there's, uh, an Indian in it, and he means more of like a Native American, and she interprets it as a, you know, Indian from India. Um, it, it, it the story he tells her is about a bandit, a former slave, a demolitions expert, um, who else? Charles Darwin's one of them. It's, it's all these people, and they're trying to kill General Odious, who is the one that wronged all of them. And the movie, it, because it's seen through her imagination, everything shifts, and, you know, it's these colors, and it's this, you know... So it, There's some really dark stuff to it. But, uh, basically, just overall, a, a fantastic movie. Uh, it's kind of like this weird, modern-day, trippy fairy tale kind of thing. Um... If only for the cinematography and the sets. Gorgeous. One of the more gorgeous movies I've ever seen. But even then, I mean, the, 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 the dialogue and the plot. Um, the, real, the real gem is the little girl uh, that I mentioned before. And it's kind of a trick because when I was watching, and I very rarely do this, when I was watching the making of Special Feature, 
apparently they, uh, they never told her she was acting. She thought it was all real. So when she's, like, crying in the movie, she's crying because she thinks it's real. And again, it's kind of a trick, but it's such an amazing, amazing performance, especially from a child, especially, you know, considering it's real. She thinks it's real. Um, just not one to miss out on if you're walking by this. I mean, the cover is kind of attractive, um, but if you read it and you're like, oh, Tarzan, he sucks, uh, really, just give it a shot. It has nothing to do with David Fincher or Spike Jones. Just give this movie a shot. You will not be disappointed. Uh, the second one is The Proposition. Now, um, the reason I started bringing this up, because there, there are other you know, movies that I'm sort of like, hey, check this out, you'll never hear of it otherwise. This one was done by John Hillcoat, and he has The Road coming out this year, the, the one with Viggo Mortensen that's taken years to make, and, you know, supposedly phenomenal. Um, but this, he did this one, and it was based on a screenplay by Nick Cave, of Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, and he was also in Grinderman, um, just some cool bands, uh, it is a gritty Australian western, and this has a couple actors you'll you'll recognize in it. Um, Guy Pearce, Ray Winstone, Danny Houston, John Hurt, David Wenham, Emily Watson. You know, so pretty star-studded. Uh, but the cover isn't really like I got to buy this movie. Uh, that one, it's Guy Pierce is one of three brothers, and they're sort of like outlaws. And one of the brothers gets captured, and uh, he's going to be put to death. And sort of the sheriff in the town makes a deal with Guy Pierce's character to hunt down the third brother, and he'll let Guy Pierce and the youngest brother go. So the whole movie is is. is Guy Pierce's character trying to hunt down his third brother, who is the 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 worst apparently of the three, the most um, violent. And along the way, he he sees um, who is it? What you know? John Hurt. He he finds him, and he's kind of hunting the brother too. And it's just this really gritty kind of uh, almost ethereal western. Like some of the stuff is just out there. Um, so it's, it kind of seems like a fever dream. But it, it is just really dirty and really brutal and really violent. And, you know, the characters you're supposed to hate, you hate. And you're sort of rooting for the, the, the good guys, who in this case are actually bad guys. Um, cat. Jeez. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of westerns anyway, and this is one of the better ones I've seen. Not that there have been many, but, um, you know, since Unforgiven, this is bar none the best Western put out. Um, check it out. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll try to go back through my collection, and sort of find you know lost gems, as it were. But um, yeah, if you get a chance, check them out. Five out of five, ten out of ten, two thumbs up, whatever. Awesome, awesome. All right, have a good one.